Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kerhadapan schedule. Because during fasting, the body neuro adapts to a health to back. It's like rebooting the hard drive in a computer that's corrupted. It reboots and recalibrates itself. And now all of a sudden, good foods start to taste good again. Continue watching to find out more. Kiorana is how to say hello in the Cook Islands Maori language. Radiant viewers, I'm Taina. The people of the fabulous Cook Islands wish for happiness and joy to surround you in your daily life. Welcome to today's program, Fasting Ourselves Out of the Pleasure Trap, Dr. Alan Goldhammer, Vegan, Part 1 of 3. Do you find yourself indulging in cakes, chocolates, cookies, or simply craving sweets, regardless of mood or hunger? Do you have a hard time saying no to french fries or other fried foods because of their taste? Be wary because these small tasty pleasures can be traps, making us susceptible to dietary excess and harming our health. In our three-part series, we are honored to feature health expert Dr. Alan Goldhammer. To encourage the public to return to a healthier life, Dr. Goldhammer co-authored the book, The Pleasure Trap, mastering the hidden force that undermines health and happiness to share his insightful observations on removing barriers to wellness and the practice of water fasting. He earned a Doctor of Chiropractic degree at the Western States Chiropractic College in Portland, Oregon, USA. Later, the gentleman traveled to Australia and became licensed as an osteopathic physician. In 1984, Dr. Goldhammer established the Santa Rosa, California, USA-based True North Health Center that provides medical, chiropractic, naturopathic, massage, and acupuncture services. The center is now the largest facility in the world that specializes in medically supervised water-only fasting. For more than 35 years, it has assisted over 20,000 people in regaining their health. Dr. Goldhammer is also the board president of the True North Health Foundation, which is dedicated to advancing public health research and education, as well as providing guidance to health professionals regarding the benefits of water fasting. He has followed a plant-based diet for more than 40 years and believes this healthy lifestyle is the key to reaching optimal health. His recommendations for well-being include eating whole plant foods, a SOS or salt, oil, sugar-free diet, exercise and sleep. As most people today are drawn to processed foods, Dr. Goldhammer considers them a pleasure trap, leading to overconsumption, and that this eating habit can lead to conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, and autoimmune disorders. 
For many, food choices are mostly based on taste rather than nutritional value. Dr. Goldhammer provides his opinion on why people are attracted to flavorsome food that is unwholesome. This is one of the most difficult things you can ever ask a person to do. Adapt a health-promoting diet in a world designed to make them fat, sick, and miserable is very difficult because they're caught in the pleasure trap. And that's why we wrote the book, The Pleasure Trap, to explain that this is the hidden force that undermines health and happiness. This is the reason people are fat, sick, and miserable. These are the causes of the heart disease, cancer, and stroke that are the leading cause of death and debility. And because people are addicts, it's very difficult for them at first to see it. It's just like telling an alcoholic, oh, you know how your life sucks? It's because you, you're a drunk. They don't go, oh, it's the alcohol. I had no idea. Thank you so much. I won't drink anymore. They tell you to mind your own business because they're an addict and they don't want to hear the truth. And the fact is people addicted to the artificial stimulation of salt, oil, and sugar in their diets are not like thrilled to find out that they have to make major diet and lifestyle changes if they want to achieve health. For people who want to back away from the pleasure trap, the True North Health Center has an effective method to help make the switch to healthy vegan whole foods. Dr. Goldhammer explains. And that's one of the real benefits of fasting. Because during fasting, the body neuro adapts to a health to back. It's like rebooting the hard drive in a computer that's corrupted. It reboots and recalibrates itself. And now all of a sudden, good foods start to taste good again. Whole natural foods begin to have a natural appeal. And the artificial stimulation that comes from essentially drugged foods, if you would, or foods that have these chemical ads added to them, um, become less and less appealing. And so one of the reasons I like fasting is after fasting, you can give people whole natural foods and they actually, it appeals to them rather than kind of being not that interesting. It's inspiring to learn that fasting can help change one's sense of taste, thus allowing those addicted to unhealthy foods to enjoy plant foods in their natural state. who are ideal candidates for medically supervised water fasting. What about the fast time frame? Well, the goal is to get patients to live so healthfully by adopting diet and lifestyle changes that the need for fasting is really minimal or secondary. Uh, one simple way I know that people need to fast is I ask them, do you like the taste of whole natural foods, like fruits and vegetables? And if they say, no, nah, I, don't, I don't like those foods, I don't then I know they need to fast. How long do they need to fast until fruits and vegetables taste good to them again? That's a real simple measure. Now, not everybody can fast. Obviously, there are people that have conditions and circumstances where fasting would be contraindicated. So in order to determine that, we go through a medical history, a physical exam, baseline laboratory evaluations with a doctor that's actually experienced and trained in the use of fasting. And we're able to estimate, uh, usually pretty accurately, you know, what period of time might be appropriate for people to achieve their goal. If their goal is to normalize blood pressure, we want to fast long enough to bring the blood pressure down to a level where they will no longer need medication and a whole, a whole plant food diet will sustain the results. If they're a diabetic, we want to see those blood sugar levels normalized, eliminate the insulin resistance so that on a whole natural foods diet, they're able to sustain normal blood sugar levels. If they have autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, ulcerative colitis, ankylosing spinous, asthma, eczema, psoriasis, whatever the case may be, we'd like to fast, if possible, long enough to resolve the condition or at least get to the point where healthy living, they'll be getting healthy or faster than they're getting sick. Um, sometimes you can't do it in one fast. Sometimes it will take several fasts to achieve the goal just because people don't always have the reserves or the capacity in order to be able to fast long enough to, to see the process through. And in our clinic, we tend to limit fasting to 40 days on water only. We don't typically go longer than that. The results of fasting differ depending on one's underlying health issues. Dr. Goldhammer elaborates who stands to gain the most based on his observations. The most obvious people that benefit from fasting are people that have conditions that are caused by dietary excess. So obesity, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, autoimmune diseases, conditions like lymphoma, we know that these conditions are all caused or made worse by dietary excess. So it's not shocking to find out that if you get rid of the dietary excess, the body is able to undo the consequences that led to the condition. And that's exactly what we see. High blood pressure, for example, is largely a condition of cumulative dietary excess in most, in most uh, essential hypertension. And so as people lose their weight, they get rid of the excess salt, sugar, and oil in the diet, and they reverse the, the causes of the blood pressure, blood pressure normalizes. 
And we were able to demonstrate that 174 times in a row in a study that we published in uh, JMPT. We did have a patient with follicular lymphoma stage three uh, that was well documented and uh, followed for two years. Rather than go through chemotherapy, she decided to undergo 21 days of water-only fasting at the True North Health Center, during which time her tumors completely disappeared. We documented that uh, with imaging studies and followed this patient for three years. And um, actually now it's over four years and she continues to be uh, completely free of any signs of cancer. It's encouraging to discover that by water fasting and healthful living, one can naturally activate their body's health-promoting functions. Please join us next week on Saturday, August 15, for Fasting Ourselves Out of the Pleasure Trap, Dr. Alan Goldhammer, Vegan, Part 2 of 3, where Dr. Goldhammer will explain the processes and principles of fasting. To learn more about the True North Health Center, please visit healthpromoting.com. Dr. Goldhammer's book, The Pleasure Trap, is available at amazon.com. Open-minded viewers, we are glad to have you with us today for our program. Up next is A Journey to Malaga, Part 6 of 9, on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May heaven's blessings shower you always. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.